is up guys welcome back to coaching Rules. so today the NBA season is officially over it is done finito done and uh, congratulations to the Warriors on a very strong playoff win you know it was 4-1 against the Cavs I'm not going to lie to you um, the only game I felt like the Cavs were fighting was probably game 4 and what I can say is that you know I hope next year they come back stronger and uh, now we can look forward to the off season so if you didn't catch last night's game all I can say is that it was actually a very well fought game I'm not gonna lie like, even though I said the um, game four was the only game that the Cavs showed up in I'm not gonna lie they did show up a little bit in this game too but it's just that it wasn't enough like I mean Steph Curry went off Kevin Durant obviously went off uh, German Green Clay Thompson everybody was doing their part on that team they all done well. I can't, I'm not gonna lie, the words done really well. So it seems like that Durant's decision to go to the Warriors has actually paid off. The first try, first year trying as well. I mean, he's been in the league for ten years, so he does deserve a championship or at least a ring. I know he done it in the wrong way, and he didn't go through the proper channels. And he actually did, you know, did what he did. You can't blame him or hate him. I mean, at the end of the day. You know, people talk about LeBron and what his situation. Like he did the same thing, but I guess at the time the Miami Heat, they were really a they were really a top team at the time anyway. So he just went there to help out. So you know, congrats to the Warriors again, KD. You know, Finals MVP. It was expected. I'm not gonna lie, it was expected. He did do well. He did do well. Um, I feel like LeBron should have probably stepped up on him a lot more in terms of like defense and everything, but. Hey man, it's always next year. Yeah, so all I can say is that you know uh, LeBron James. I watched his press conference um, literally this morning, and he just said he's not getting in the basketball court until uh, probably a couple of days or something like that. Actually, no, sorry, the gym is not getting in a couple of days for, uh, but getting on the court it won't be until July. So he's giving himself time to just recuperate for the next couple of weeks, and then he'll be on the court. And you know that's a good thing to do because. Losses like this, they're tough, especially if it's 4 1. I mean, I know losing 4 3, that's even more hurtful because you know you've played six games great and then seven games, your both teams are playing so good, you don't know who's going to win. And then when you end up losing or winning, it's, it's a whole different type of emotion swing. So, you know, I'm glad he's able to just recuperate himself and you know, be able to sit down, relax, and to actually take care of himself and actually think about net the season coming ahead now. There have been talks of a uh, LeBron leaving after this season apparently but I'm still not sure about it I'm gonna look into more off-season research because I need to know for the facts for real you know because this will be crazy because what team could he go to he could pretty much go to any team if he wanted to but what do you think uh, he could be wait, wait where could he go what could he be these options uh, just leave that down in the comment section below because it looks like if he really is considering leaving then you know the Cavs will be back down to a bottom tier team again so for the Warriors I mean they fought effortlessly throughout the series you know they they grinded so hard just to get this championship and I think uh, you know obviously Kevin Durant he had a lot to prove especially the fact that he got his first ring and uh, he's already got a season MVP but now that he's got a finals MVP it's just something to go on his shelf and he's he felt really composed uh, I don't think he got too actually no even in his press conference he said he got he, he was this close to getting too ahead of himself because in 50 seconds he was like he was like I'm about to win the championship but the team is about to win the championship and then Draymond Green and Andre Godawa are like no 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 it's still the game it's still games the game's still going on because you don't know what happened um, the Cavs are only pretty much down by nine nine points by the time the end of the game happened so you know, anything could have happened. Seriously, like, remember, like they say, like, I've heard this saying so many times, that like, defense wins games. And obviously, the Warriors made a clear statement this year that, you know, they could, they could make, make it work with a super team. Um, you know, Javon McGee, as an as a inactive center, has now become a live and probably a good center for that team, which is kind of weird. So, I don't know, in the off, in the off season, are they going to search for someone else or are they actually going to keep him, sign him, and just make him progress? Now, if you look at most of the Warriors games, I mean, Steve Kerr wasn't even coaching most of them. He actually was really sick. I can't remember what he, uh, what he was going through or something. 
something like that. It was more than a flu, but something not that serious, but it was keeping him from travelling to games and everything. So uh, the assistant coach, Mike Brown, who was the old Cleveland coach, and uh, you know he was helping the team out a lot. You know, the coaching staff, they are actually pretty good. They did what they needed to do while Steve Kerr was out. So you know, congrats to them as well. They did a really good job. You know, I mean, I saw the celebrations. I saw the NBA final speech uh, by Kevin Durant. Everybody's families were there, they were going crazy, they were going crazy, man. You know? And you know, the Warriors, they wanted to, they, I'm sure they wanted to come back off the bone in that 3 1 league. They definitely wanted to come back. So, hey, man, they, they did it. They got the championship. I think they proved a lot of people wrong with this super team. But hey, next season, can they repeat? So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, share, comment, and also subscribe. I'm gonna be starting podcasts, so I'm gonna do that sometime over this weekend. I'll probably get the introduction done by either this Saturday or Sunday. And um, yeah, I'll see you for the next video.